Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this new tutorial, we are going to talk a little bit about variables. So if you don't know what are variables, don't worry, we are going to cover it in this tutorial. So in the previous video, we've created this blinking LED using a script. We can open it up and it's called first sketch. Let's go ahead and click on it and here's the code. Basically we have these two methods. The first one is called setup in which we are setting our pins like pin 13. As you can see all of these pins has numbers from 0 to 13 and we've used this pin as an output. That means that we can turn it on or off. Then we've talked about this loop function. So this one is called over and over again. So each time we are turning the LED on then we are waiting a bit using this built-in function delay so these are built-in functions and that's called the camel case notation so the first word is lowercase and each word after it needs to start with a capital letter like right so the w here is a capital letter the same thing with the pin mode the pin is lowercase and the mode the first letter is uppercase now let's talk about variables basically you could think of a variable as a box that we could put things on it and we could label that box with a name and in order to access what is inside that box we can just check for the name and the same thing with the variables we can define a variable with its name and then we can put data on it like numbers for example we can create a variable and assign this value to it and then we could just use the name instead of using this value directly so let's go ahead and create our first variable up here beyond the setup function. First of all, we need to define the type of the variable like int. So int is a whole number like 1, 2, 13, minus 5. We have also strings, which is a text and a floating number and so on. So let's use an int. That's because 13 is an integer. Then we need to give it a name like LED pin. And as you can see, I'm using the same notation. LED is lowercase and the pin word start with this uppercase letter. Then we need to assign the value using this equal sign. And let's put the value 13. And then to access the value of this variable, we just need to write the name. For example, here we can pass in the name, which is LED pin. And let's copy it and use it over here as well. And that's how we use variables. Now, if we want to change the LED pin, for example, to number 2, we don't need to go over here and change it 3 times or 4 times. We just need to change it up here. I'm going to give it back to 13. We could also create another variable like this delay time. So instead of using this value, let's create another variable up here using int. And let's call it delay time. I'm going to assign the value 300. Then let's use it under here. And the same thing down here as well. I'm gonna zoom out a bit so that you could see the whole program. And to check that our program is still working, let's go ahead and upload it using this upload button. And yeah, as you can see, we have our LED and it's blinking. We could change the speed by changing this number. For example, let's use 100 and let's upload it again. And yeah, now our LED is blinking faster. So you see here the advantages of variables. It's gonna make your coding process much easier. So before I finish this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the same script to make a blinking LED. And we will use this one. So we are going to connect this to one of these pins. Then we are going to upload the same program to make this LED blinking. And to do that, we need this breadboard. This is called a breadboard. Basically, it has a bunch of uh, points that we could use to make simple circuits. But first of all, let's talk a bit about this board. Basically, we have all of these points and the points in the same column are connected. So all of these are connected to each other. But each column is not connected to the other one. So all of these are separate. And also we have this line. That means that these points are not connected to each other. Also, we have these rows with a red color and a blue color. We have this plus sign and minus sign. Basically, we use these to create a ground 
or a 5 volts uh, supply. That's because all of these points are connected to each other. We could create a ground rail by connecting the ground of our Arduino Uno. So we have here this pin and it's labeled ground. We could connect it to this point and we will have this ground rail. The same thing, we could create a 5 volt uh, rail as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and create our circuit. Basically, you need the Arduino Uno, the breadboard, and you need this LED. So all of these components comes with the starter kit. You could buy it from the link under the video description. And we will use these jumper wires to make the connection. And finally, you will need this 220 ohm resistor. That's because the 5 volts that is generated by this Arduino Uno is going to burn the uh, LED. That's why we need to use this 220 ohm resistor. You could use the 301. So first of all, I'm going to use this jumper wire and I'm going to connect it to one of these pins that we are going to use. For example, let's use pin number 2. We have this one and it's labeled 2. Then let's go to one of these points. And because all of these points are connected to each other, we can connect this jumper wire to this leg of the ohm resistor by putting it in the same row. After that, let's connect this LED. Make sure to take the longer one and connect it with the other leg of the ohm resistor. Then we can go from the other leg of the LED to the ground. So we have here this ground pin, I'm gonna use it. Once you've made the connection, we need to upload the code again and make sure to change the pin to 2, that's because we are using pin number 2 and that's going to make this LED blinking. So let's go back to our code and I'm gonna change this variable to 2 and let's increase the delay time a bit, like 300. We can save the sketch using Ctrl S and let's upload it. And there you go, we have a blinking LED. You see now the importance of variables. It's gonna make the coding much easier. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I appreciate that. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified with my videos. And I will see you in the next one.